Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey, and in this video let's do a quick overview of what is the current state of Unity Dots. Although, more accurately, let's look at the state of entities. The only reason why I put dots in the title is because there's still quite a lot of confusion, and if I just put entities in the title, then a lot of people won't know exactly what that is. So as a quick refresher, dots stands for the Data Oriented Technology Stack, and that stack is composed of three things, ECS, the Entity Component System, or just called Entities, then it's the job system and the burst compiler. Of those three, the job system and the burst compiler have already been fully production ready for several years. The only one still in preview is entities. So when you hear dots, remember that it composes of three things and two of them have already been out. And right now, there's actually already been some games launched that use dots in various ways. One of them was Diplomacy is Not an Option. It's a really awesome castle defense game with thousands of units, so it's very clearly using dots. Another one is Zenith The Last City. This is a VR MMO on a massive scale with tons of players and enemies. It's been monumentally successful and extremely well received by players and critics alike. They talked about how they use DOTS in this year's GDC, how entities help them in many ways. It was really interesting. And another recent example, which also found massive success, is V Rising. Great game, I quite enjoy playing it myself. I even made a video recreating the very unique sunlight mechanic. And this is also another one that also had a real interesting dev breakdown on Unity Switch. So even though Dots is still technically in development, there's already been some games putting this awesome tag to good use. So over here, let's do a quick overview to check out the current state of entities. This is not a step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm waiting for the final full release before I do a full-fledged tutorial on it. And speaking of that final release, the most important thing about the current state is the current roadmap. They unveiled an updated roadmap a while ago, and the goal is to have entities hit 1.0 by early next year. They are targeting to have it production ready alongside Unity 22 LTS, so around March or April next year. As to what 1.0 entails, we can look at the other cards on the roadmap to get a nice idea. Importantly, is a ton of UI and UX improvements. For me, I haven't touched dots in about two years, and back then it was already really awesome in terms of results, but it was definitely lacking in terms of basic tools. All of the editor windows you had for inspecting things, they were all just mountains of text that was really difficult to navigate. You couldn't even click to select a specific unit, you had to find it in the entity list and somehow select it from the thousands of entities in the world. So one of the main goals for 1.0 is to fix all of that, to make it so it has regular UI windows with the same level of UX that you're used to in the regular Unity tools. So here in the roadmap, we can see hierarchy windows showing both game objects and entities. You can visualize components, systems, and archetypes. And very important, scene picking, so being able to click on an entity to select it. Then also on the roadmap are some more debugging tools, compatibility with game objects. So the final goal is to use a hybrid approach, meaning using game objects where it makes sense and using entities where that makes sense. In the beginning when DOTS was announced, a lot of people thought the future would be pure ECS, but now it's looking like a hybrid approach will be the best approach. Entities is also meant to come with its own ECS-based multiplayer, which is going to be really interesting. Using entities is going to allow for a massive amount of objects, all of them correctly synchronized in multiplayer. Then of course, Entity is great for a large-scale simulation. That's exactly one of the things that Entities allows that is simply not possible with game objects. And finally, of course, lots of learning content. Entities and Dots is really awesome, but it does have quite a steep learning curve than just learning game objects. So that's the current state of the roadmap. For me, the important part is really just 1.0 next year. But let's look beyond the roadmap into the current state of the package. Right now, you can use version 0.51 in the latest Unity 21 LTS version. In case you don't know, this was the huge update that happened recently, about three months ago. Unity basically stopped updating entities publicly for about a year, they just worked on it privately, and then suddenly they came out with this roadmap and a huge upgrade to version 0.50 and now 0.51. There were quite a few changes from the old version 0.17, but at the same time, not really that many changes. Meaning that if you, like me, played around with DOTS when it was first announced, all of the core concepts are still the same. You still have entities, you still have components and systems. There are still archetypes, memory chunks, structs, and so on. So the videos that I made on DOTS quite a long time ago, those can still be very useful for learning the core concepts behind a more data-oriented approach. Although, of course, to make the code in those videos work requires a bunch of syntax changes. And thankfully, on the documentation, there's a really nice page to help you convert a 0.17 project into 0.51. So if there's any old projects you have that you'd like to play with again, or maybe follow some old tutorials, then you can follow that upgrade path. 
it all looks pretty simple. You just need to relearn the new syntax. For example, job component system has been replaced with system base. The dependencies for all the jobs have also been simplified, so you no longer need to manually handle them yourself. The code definitely looks quite a bit cleaner. There's also changes to iJob for each being replaced with iJob entity. And again, looking at the code side by side, it's definitely cleaner. The main complaint about Dot since it was first announced is that it looks extremely complex and has tons of boilerplate code. So these changes from 0.17 to 0.51, these definitely show that they are going in the right direction of making it easier to write good Dot's code. Netcode for Entities, which is the multiplayer part, also got some updates, as did the hybrid renderer and the Dot's physics. There's also now a new build process, so rather than going through file build like you do when building a regular Unity project, nowadays with Dots you install the platform's package, then create a kind of build configuration and use that to make the build. I wonder if this is just a temporary thing that will later on be integrated into the regular build pipeline. This is the one part that still looks quite a bit janky. So those really are the main changes of going from 0.17 to 0.51. Based on most of these changes, it does seem that work is continuing in the right direction. Then the forums, they also continue being very active with lots of people asking questions and Unity devs answering them. So for the current state, I would say that everything is progressing nicely and the roadmap to hit 1.0 by next year does look to be on track. The question remains, which is how much more different will 1.0 be from the current version 0.51? They say that it's a breaking change, as you would expect, but based on how easy it is to upgrade from 0.17 to 0.51, based on that, it does seem like upgrading to 1.0 might also be a pretty painless process. So perhaps if you have a game idea that you're planning to launch by next year, maybe you can start researching to see if dots can be useful for that project. And definitely make sure to check out those dot songs from GDC and the recent V Rising interview. They are great to see how studios are already using it in final games, even though it's technically not yet ready. Also, Unite 22, which is Unity's big conference, this one is in a few months in November, so I'm guessing we'll also be hearing a bit more about Dots in there. And also another quick mention, if you're interested in Dots, then a great channel that does primarily Dots content is Turbo Makes Games. Johnny is constantly up to date with everything related to Dots and doing some tutorials on the latest versions. So if you want to play around with Dots before I make a full tutorial on it next year, or you just want to keep up to date with any news and updates, then definitely follow his channel. As for me, like I said, I'm going to continue watching from the sidelines with a lot of interest. I really think Dots will open up tons of possibilities for the types of games that you can create, especially since for me the types of games that I like to play are usually around strategy or management games with lots of systems, lots of objects, and everything interacting with one another. So for those types of games, I do think Dots will be very much a game changer. So the current state is looking great, and I'm really looking forward to the future. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.